There are many studies right now that are trying to figure out or basically be able to predict who are the patients that are risk, at risk of progression. So we know that uh, in patients who have MGUS and smoldering myeloma, there are different clinical variables that we look for to study uh, basically the stage of the disease and how aggressive it is. Um, and this could be related to the M spike or basically the amount of immunoglobulins that are produced, uh, the beta-2 microglobulin, uh, any, the presence of any lesions, cytogenetic abnormalities. Uh, so there are many clinical variables that could right now predict the risk of progression. Uh, and more recently, genomic studies have come into play to better stratify the risk of progression. Um, and um, from what we're finding so far, uh, there are specific genomic alterations that could predict uh, a rate of progression that's so fast, like you would start assuming that that patient is gonna progress over the next year or two even. Um, and, the and the importance of actually devising these uh, uh, risk stratifying uh, uh, models is we'll be able to change how we manage patients when we see them in clinic. So when somebody comes to clinic and we are able to tell them, oh, you have a risk or a really high risk of progressing over the next year or two versus, oh, you're not going to progress over the next 10 years, this would uh, like basically push us further to maybe start treatment at that point who are uh, or in patients who are really at, just at the brink before changing into myeloma and maybe even prevent all the complications that arise when you develop myeloma. So um, basically those pre-malignant clones or kind of malignant clones that are going to become even more malignant, maybe they are, uh, it would be actually a, a really good idea to get rid of them at that stage when they haven't caused any damage yet. Um, and that's why we are always um, trying to find new therapies, trying to under better understand what's happening at the cellular level and the tumor microenvironment level. Maybe we will be able to stop all the things that are actually contributing to the uh, progressive malignancy of those clones.